Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and today I'll be talking to you about the least popular revolver in Battlefield 1, usually accounting for around just 0.6% of sidearm usage time on any given day, hence the loneliest revolver. I'll go over its strengths and weaknesses before stating why I think it's so often overlooked and whether I think it deserves it. The revolver in question is of course the Nagat Revolver. Now before we go into this weapon's strengths, I'll give you the very basic average stats. The Nagat Revolver has a rate of fire of 199 rounds per minute, the same as the Revolver Mark VI, which isn't incredibly fast or incredibly slow, and it then has a pretty standard deploy time, so it's not excelling or falling down in terms of having the gun ready to use and then how fast it can fire. But strengths wise, it has great minimum damage, standing at 23. This is higher than any other revolver, and in fact a lot higher than most. For example, the Auto Revolver has a minimum damage stat of just 15. The Naga is then able to land that damage quickly for a revolver in terms of bullet travel time, with a muzzle velocity stat of 335 meters per second, with the most common muzzle velocity for a revolver being just 230. And that damage is then pretty easy to land, once again for a revolver, with better combined recoil and spread stats than any of its competitors. So I'm sure you're getting the picture here. This is the best revolver for range engagements. It's built almost specifically for it. Although the gasser actually beats it for bullets to kill, it's far harder to use from a recoil perspective and all of the other revolvers fall way behind the Nagath for bullets to kill at range, as well as simply being able to land the damage consistently. Where most require 4 shots to kill, the Nagath requires 3. The same difference applies for 5 bullets and 6 bullets, before it then beats most revolvers by 2 bullets to kill. As the Nagath always requires a maximum of 5 shots, some revolvers eventually require 7 or 8, essentially meaning that most revolvers simply shouldn't be used at range. Not so the Nagath, it's a capable option for distance enemies. And you can then throw on top that the Nagat can chamber 7 rounds as opposed to the usual 6 for a revolver. But what of its weaknesses? Well they're few in number, but great in terms of severity. First off, the Nagat's range potency is balanced out by close quarters failings. Where other revolvers can reliably 2 shot people within 10 meters, the Nagat can't. It always requires at least 3 shots to take down a full health enemy. And trust me, if you're used to using a revolver, this feels extremely lacking and and limiting. It means that you have to hit a very high percentage of your shots almost all of the time at close range. And even when you do, there are times when it simply isn't enough, as it just takes too long to land the damage you need. Then you have to combine this with the other major failing of the Nagar revolver. The reload time is a joke. I'll show you here how long it takes to reload after firing one round. I'll just be quiet until it's finished. And now I'll show you just how long it takes to reload after firing all 7 rounds. Yeah, that reload can be an absolute nightmare. Just imagine it, you have to land 3 shots to kill people up close with your revolver. You have to land most of the shots you take, and then, even with 7 rounds rather than 6, you'll need to reload frequently, which then feels like your life is passing you by as you fiddle around with your sidearm. These are the reasons why I totally understand it being the loneliest revolver. It's also why I don't really like this revolver. Yes it can do things at range that other revolvers can't, but I could just pick a more versatile option for range engagements anyway, and I then wouldn't have to deal with the somewhat poor close quarters capabilities and the incredibly frustrating reload times. So I can't really recommend this revolver to the vast majority of players. For some, as always, it will be great, specifically if you need a range option to combine with a close quarters primary weapon and you can use this weapon well. But for most people, it probably isn't worth you bothering unless you just want to try it out for fun. But this is just my opinion. What do you think? Have you used the Nagar revolver? If not, do you intend to try it now? And what's your favourite sidearm? Let me know in the comment section below. Now let's go over to the Board of Awesome for the fantastic people who support the channel on Patreon. They're the main reason why you get content from me full time, so thanks to everyone on here. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, then the link to the Patreon page is in the description below and in my pinned comment. Support can start from as little as $1 a month. I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos, and feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'm GetGoodGuy and I'll see you next time, laters.